Matter is a complicated matter. In ancient Greece, Aristotle stated it was made from fire, water, air, and earth. His theory was accepted for 2,000 years. But now we know it's made of more than 100 elements. So how did we change our way to see it? It's 1772, and a Parisian named Antoine Lavoisier is working to improve the gunpowder. And so, he studies how combustion works. At that time, people believed that a fire-like fluid called phlogiston was trapped within all matter, and burning meant setting the phlogiston free. That was why after burning, objects weighted less. Working together with his wife Marianne Pauls, he designed a sealed vessel. Taking careful measurements, they put inside phosphorus and combusted it. The weight of the vessel was the same before and after, because nothing had escaped. That was fine. But the matter left inside the vessel after the experiment, it weighted more than it did before. If the phlogiston theory was correct, it should weigh less. Unless air wasn't only air. What if air was made of different gases that could join other substances and make them heavier? Lavoisier had heard the experiments of Cavendish, who synthesized water by mixing two different gases he called inflammable air and dephlogisticated air. Lavoisier set himself to confirm Cavendish's findings. He removed the air inside a vessel with a vacuum pump and let both gases flow in. An electric spark ignited the combustion and, voila, water started to form. Lavoisier proved that water was no longer an element, but a compound made of two elements that he named hydrogen and oxygen. That was a revolution! Air, water. The four classic elements were just combinations of brand new elements that should be identified and described separately. Supported by his wife and scientists who believed him, Lavoisier started that search. They identified 55 elements and found a systematic way to name them. He condensed all his work in the first chemistry textbook ever that contained three simple ideas. Phlogiston doesn't exist, the matter we see is made of elements, and that matter isn't created or destroyed. It merely transforms through chemical reactions. The rest is history.